Blockchain based play to earn MMORPG, the galaxy of Lemuria. Not only do I have a nice project to show you today, but I can actually play it. There is an alpha that you'll be able to download as well with a new alpha coming out. And there are a ton of features in something that looks very, very beautiful to start with. I've been playing games for a long time, guys. Some of my favorites have been on the old consoles like the Super Nintendo, namely Secret of Mana and Chrono Trigger. And this game really scratches those itches. So let's dive into it. All right, so here we are in the galaxy of Lemuria. Now there's quite a bit going on on the screen. We have a little chat window here that we can say hello, because it's an MMORPG, right? So you'll be able to talk and it'll appear right above your head as well as in the context menu. We have a debug menu that we can do things like change our classes, change late day to night, as you can see here, <laughs> daylight and night. We have a bunch of spells and item consumable items here, as well as our backpack and the ability to just hide stuff. There's also meters too that tell you your health, your stamina, your energy, your hunger, sanity, and oxygen so I have a set of shortcut keys here that'll show us a little bit of stuff and I'm gonna actually get into a video with you guys very very soon to show you about some really really streamlined game features but right now I'm just gonna show you something so let's hit Q and 1 and this is going to bring a skeleton it's gonna spawn a little skeleton out we can hit Q2 and it's gonna bring out one of these little mushroom creatures here and I could just tear them up as a soldier, right? We have an apple. So right now we already have some things that we can eat, for instance. If I click on this, you'll see that I'll be restored my health. And now we pick up the apple with the E key and go for it. If I go to next set, we have a different character class here. As you saw, the character classes at the drop down menu that was there. And now we have a little bit of range. One of my favorite ones to use, I love range characters in games. So going to a bow and arrow seems really, really neat right now. And he even does some manual attacks or some melee attacks when you get up. And you can see he dropped a bone and what is this? A spine. So a bunch of different loot styles that you can get from the different enemies depending on what you're fighting as well. Now, because it's a test version, I have the ability to fly. I can hit C here and just show you how big the world actually gets. And honestly, you see we, me, I'm, I'm continuing to go up and up and up here. You wouldn't believe this, but there's actually a planet right underneath me. <laughs> That's why they call it the Galaxy of Lemuria. So the placeables in this game are actually crazy too. You'll be able to build stuff. Like I could place a table right here and it just kind of appears. There's so much going on in this game. Let's jump into the video so you can see some streamlined stuff because they did a really, really good job putting this video together then we might try out some stuff all right so trailer shows just about everything you can see here it's zoomed down from a planet view and there's a bunch of creatures that they're fighting some poison spores they're gonna show you some spell usage here some building looks really really good they're they're actually using potions too these little spore creatures you can see them kind of healing and he's using some magic as well these are a lot tougher than what we were fighting too. You chop down trees for resources, of course, that you'll be able to use to build stuff and craft. You have here some party members that he's playing with. This, oh man, I cannot wait to play this. And look, you see that little house back there? That's their house, okay? That's his house. You're gonna see him building that in a little bit. So this is what the building looks like. It's a tile-based building that you may have seen in games that I've played before, like Ark Survival Evolved, for instance. You can kind of put your beds down and your furniture. Some of the table that we just saw, you can even change the positioning on it. There's a little bit of storage that he's setting up as well as making his walls a little bit higher. And he's going to even put a little nice rug there <laughs> for decorations, all right? It's gonna show him going underwater here. And of course, an underwater view. Look how clear and gorgeous, man. There's a little chest he found. Looks like some spells that he found as well. And he's fighting death, which looks like a boss type creature, okay? So death is using raised skeletons, which does a bunch of enemies now. And he is going to use rain of rocks, <laughs> like a meteor shower on him. It's such a gorgeous game for blockchain, guys. I, I cannot even tell you how excited I am to get into this. I want to try out some of those spells. And this is... What? Is that a spaceship? Oh, heck yeah. I think we can actually even summon this. 
And now it's going to give you a view of the planet, too. Oh, look how beautiful and seamless this is. It's so good, right? All right, I want to try out some of these spells, okay? I picked the mage. I don't know if it has anything to do with the consumable spells that we picked before, but you can see here there's an ice spike spell that I just picked. Let's see if I can rain ice down. Oh, it actually comes up from the ground right there. Okay. Well, we have gravity, and I imagine it sucks enemies in closer. So, gravity right there. And yeah, it sure does. So we have the rain of rocks that we can put on them now, since they were stuck in that one spot. Oh no, you're not going nowhere, suckers. Gravity, rain of rocks. Oh, we got the other one too. Can we use more pillar of fire? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so destructive. So remember I said something about the spaceship? Check it out. Let's go back to settings and go to next set a few times and check it out. Now, I want you to notice something too, guys. I am controlling how far or close that we're zoomed in. I'm just going to start rolling back on the mouse wheel here. <laughs> Let me go to next set. And look how far out I am. Look. I'm actually still scrolling out too. It's absurd. I'm going to go to map here and you can see the entire world. And all the different biomes and stuff and where atmosphere is. That's why it's called Galaxy of Lemuria. But I have links in the description so that you can download this as well as the instructions to try it out yourself. But now we're going to jump into the white paper and the website and let me show you all the info about it. So jumping into the website, there's a lot of information here. First of all, you can go to their socials like their Discord and their YouTube channel. This is where I actually just saw uh, or, sh or watched the video from. There's a few different videos too by Dance of the Planets, Mealtime, Building Your First House, and you can also go to the white paper from these links as well, which we're going to dive into in a moment. Right offhand, you're going to see that there is a founder sale on October 16th. If you're watching this video before this, you should check it out. There's a lot of details that are coming up. You'll be able to buy NFTs because everything in this game is going to be tokenized. Now, you won't be able to buy land right up front or guild tokens, but you're going to be able to get a bunch of different equipments, some placeables. There's booster packs. There's all sorts of things that are going to be outlined in the white paper here that we'll jump into but there's some news alerts as well as some of the videos about the game and the story and a little bit of the art plus there's a pet system that i didn't even go into for the gameplay and the whole building system that is going to get outlined here so the galaxy of lemuria features procedurally generated worlds with a plethora of environments all of these contain various resources monsters and hidden loot so you're going to be able to go from place to place from planet to planet gathering different resources killing different monsters so you can craft different things and sell them to on the NFT market. This is going to be such a great experience. You have a trading card based skill system. Every skill in Galaxy Lemuria is performed with a card. Your stats determine the skills effectiveness. So like I was telling you earlier, I didn't know if the mage would actually affect the spell power. It actually will. The space traveling, which we saw the Explorer A1 is cheap, but a fast hybrid ship used to explore exoplanets and moons in the nearby regions of space. Never pass up the opportunity to gather resources necessary to build this useful vehicle. So that'll be something that you'll be able to build in game and use. Now here's where we jump into the white paper. If you go down to the play to earn section here, you can see that it's a new type of game which rewards players for time and effort they spend both playing the game and growing the ecosystem. That's what player to earn is all about, but no cost entry guys. Players can opt in to play a common character up to level 20. So you can actually try this out before you make any commitments whatsoever. It's like a built-in demo. And then if you like it and you wanna get into it, you can purchase NFT characters and start really unlocking all the game experiences. The economy is 100% player owned. The game resources and items are tokenized. They can be sold to anyone anywhere in peer-to-peer -peer markets. So if you want to just chop trees all day long and sell them to other players on the market for people that are looking to buy resources, you can do that. When you do choose to buy a character, you'll have different character packages, common, rare, epic, legendary, and mythic chances based on the formula below, which starts out at rare 79.5% chance all the way down to mythical, which is very, very hard to get. And these will be based on the classes that you saw in the drop-down menu at the start of the game, the mage, soldier, the archer, all of them. Outside of the character, 
characters. There are a bunch of other NFTs and earning methods. There's a rental program. It goes into game economics and even a scholarship program. And if we go into NFT information, you can see here the booster packs that are going to be available. Each booster card pack contains five cards with at least one card guaranteed to be rare or higher. NFT and non-NFT card items are within booster packs. Many items within the Galaxy of Lemuria limited edition quantities for specific rarities of NFT items rare and above. Examples are building schematics, cosmetic items, equipment, pets, and the space explorer. And the chances are as follows, the rare, the epic, the legendary, and the mythic. So the characters that you'll be able to get that we talked about, players will be able to buy, sell, and trade characters in the NFT marketplace. All eight classes are available to be purchased and utilized in game as character NFTs. Character NFTs will have boosted base stats and scale at higher level cap compared to base characters, free and non-NFT characters. So the common and the rare characters will be unlimited, but there will only be 30,000 epic, 20,000 legendary, and 10,000 mythics ever. So it's gonna be a finite supply. They outline equipment, which will be able to buy, sell, and trade equipment NFTs on the marketplace or purchase equipment NFTs with rarity. All equipment rarities will be available in game via quest and achievements, drops from monsters, or bosses some to be offered to be purchased so if you want to fight dragons or mushrooms all day long to get a certain rare drop and sell it on the market you could do that as well and now for the founders token now this is how the token system is going to work founders tokens will receive one airdrop every two weeks of guaranteed in-game items non-nft with a 10 percent chance of obtaining a booster pack founders tokens will receive one entry per token as surprise random draws giveaways on social media Every time a Founders Token holder doesn't receive a bonus booster card via airdrop, the percentage is increased by 10% until the Founders Token holder receives it. Then this effect resets. So you can't say that you don't get lucky because sooner or later your luck or your unluck will run out and you'll get a drop no matter what. And the Founders Tokens will provide utility for as long as you hold it. So if you want to play the game for three months and then you think you have enough items and you barely play it or you're going to let your kid brother play it and you decide to sell off your founder's token, you can do that too. The only thing that you're not going to be able to get in the first sale is going to be guild tokens and planets or land. The Galaxy of Lemuria is divided into tokenized planets, which act as home and bases of operation. Each planet can be upgraded over time using various resources and crafting ingredients that can be found while playing the game. There's different environmental resources and materials such as ore, wood, stone, herbs, crystals, and more based on overall rarity. And as a planet holder, you'll have the rights to any resources that spawn on your planet. Different types of terrain will coexist with each planet depending on overall planet sizes and rarity. Examples include forests, deserts, wetlands, arctic mountains, lava, dark, and wastelands. So there's going to be some rare biomes too. Now these and the guild tokens are going to be available at a later date, but it goes into PvE elements, which is my favorite stuff. I'm not a big PvPer, but I haven't really got into PvP yet. We'll get to it in a second. Each planet has the various types of creatures that inhabit different terrain ecosystems. The type of creature will be dependent on the rarity of the corresponding planet. Characters that inhabit each planet will be one to three categories, friendly, neutral, or hostile. Friendly creatures can help speed up and grow resources faster and provide additional or new rare materials for players to utilize in crafting unique items such as cosmetics and equipment. So you'll be able to go through each planet's ecosystem and get what you need there to develop all sorts of recipes. You'll be able to do questing to gain favor with different types of creature races and quests are often easy to start with the scale and difficulty with the player reputation increases completing desired tasks. So the further along you go, the less mediocre the task will become until you start getting to the much harder stuff, which will likely yield much rare resources and loot. So for the PvP, players may engage and wage war against other players' planets. Players can hire other players to help attack or defend other people's planets. Enemy players can destroy cities, defenses, and take resources based on the level of ecosystem. A protective barrier may be purchased for an abundance of resources, which will nullify and prevent enemies from waging warfare against players' home base planet for a set duration of time. So if you wanna spend time just to farm resources to protect yourself against being in PVP, you could do that. 
or you could be a pirate and just start plundering everything that doesn't have one of these protective barriers. Players have the freedom to build out a defensive and military-based building resources, which can be leveled up and explored to defend the home base and prepare to wage war against enemy player planets. These systems may not all be available at once. Details for further announcements will come in the future. So I assume that they're going to have some grief protection measures at first so people don't go broke just trying to defend themselves from players that get together and these large guilds that just ransack people's planets, right? And now for the roadmap, which kind of starts off where we're at with this founder sale. Now, the founder sale goes from October 16th all the way to November 13th, and founders will get early access to play the alpha version two that I talked to you about. This one's gonna be coming out in the first quarter of 2022, and it's gonna be a complete remake of the alpha that you saw me play today with building features, graphics, technical improvements. There's a bunch of different features here, the card-based system, blockchain integration, basic PVE, the building system, basic NPCs, consumables, the whole nine yards. And then it moves into quarter three, which is gonna be the next alpha version. And that's gonna be the mastery system, the pet system, weather, crafting, fishing, cooking, all of it. And there's even gonna be space traveling, different planets, quest and achievements, cosmetics, addition of town, cities, village, ecosystems, all coming at the quarter of the fourth quarter of next year so very very important if you like the project to join their discord guys for the founder sale and and beyond they're going to be doing some giveaways even coupons for some sales that they'll be doing for the founder sale so that you can get discounts if you want to get into the game and all of the updates that are going to follow the white paper was just released so i'm sure this discord is going to grow quite a bit now that the word is out and as you can see from the demo that i played the game looks very very polished eyes also not to mention their discord check out all their social medias as well as mine my discord is going to be out the bottom too or you can look at the link on your screen now come chat with us about blockchain games we talk about stuff like this all day long as well as a bunch of nft projects and just socializing and having a good time all together guys i look forward to seeing you there i hope that you're excited like i am thanks so much for watching guys as always this is little jen signing off and we'll see you next time